Hi everyone, I'm Andrew from Singsport and today we're going to learn about how to get started with the platform. In this tutorial we will cover a brief introduction to the platform and then we'll move to the hands-on part. So let's start from the introduction. Singsport is a platform for data collection, processing, visualization and device management. Today we will show how to provision a new device, collect data using MQTT and visualize it on the real-time dashboard. This and other Thingsport features are covered in the docs. The link to Thingsport documentation is attached in the video description. I would like to mention one more thing about the platform before we proceed to the hands-on part. Thingsport is 100% open source and is licensed under Apache 2.0. It is free for both personal and commercial usage. So let's move to the hands-on part. First thing we need to do is to get access to Thingsport server instance. Let's open the Thingsport installation page. Thingsport can be installed to almost anywhere. You can run Thingsport locally on the laptop, PC or even on your Raspberry Pi. However, the platform was designed to be able to scale and support millions of devices. That is why you are also able to install Thingsport in the cluster mode. You can find installation instructions on the corresponding documentation pages and these instructions are also attached in the video description. In this tutorial we will use live demo server which is deployed in the cloud to simplify getting started process. You will need to complete simple sign up procedure that should take a minute or two. It is totally free and I will create my account right now. Let's open the browser and navigate to the live demo page. The link to live demo server is attached in the video description. I am going to populate sign up form and click on sign up button. Once the form is submitted, you should receive the email with the activation link. This is to make sure that you are actual person who owns the email and will be able to recover the password from your live demo account. Let's open the email and complete the activation procedure. Now we are able to log in and observe Thingsport Web UI. We have logged in using Tenant Administrator role. Tenant Administrator is able to provision devices, configure rules and plugins, and of course create dashboards. Let's navigate to the device panel and click on the red plus button in the bottom right corner of the screen. I am going to populate new device name and description. Once device is saved, we can open the details tab and copy the device access token. We will use it to make API calls. Now we can proceed to the data upload. Let's open the console. We have prepared a simple demo JavaScript tool to publish device attributes and telemetry using MQTT protocol. We will publish firmware version and serial number as device attributes. Also, we are going to publish simulated temperature and humidity data once per second. We have chosen to write this tool using JavaScript because it is both very simple and well supported by common operating systems. To run this tool, you will need to have Node.js and NPM installed. The link to Node.js download page is in the video description. Now I will check that Node.js and NPM is installed on my laptop 
and my laptop is running Ubuntu 16.04. Once you have Node.js, you also will need to install JavaScript MQT library. I'm going to do this right now. Now we can download and launch our demo script. The link to the script is in the video description. Let's update access token constant with our device access token. I'm going to copy paste it right now. Now we can launch the script and observe logs. Looks like everything is ok. Now we can navigate to the web UI and observe uploaded attributes in the attributes panel. Let's select these attributes and show them on the widget. I'm going to add this attributes card to the dashboard. We will create new dashboard and populate the dashboard name. Now let's click on the Add button. But before we do this, I would like to mark Open Dashboard checkbox in order to see the results of our work. Finally, we are able to see our first dashboard. Now let's add more widgets. Let's click on the plus button and select Widget Bundle. The first widget we are going to add will be Digital Gouge. We will show real-time temperature value. I'm going to populate the data source parameters and change the widget title. Now we can click on the Add button. Let's move this widget below the Attributes panel. Next widget we are going to add is quite similar and is going to display the community value. Once again, I will populate the data source parameters and check the title. I'm also going to edit the label. Let's change minimum and maximum values here. We also need to remove Celsius symbol from the displayed value. Now let's move this widget near the temperature one and resize them. So we have three widgets that display latest values from the device. Next widgets we are going to add will display last minute of time series data. One for temperature and one for humidity. I will populate same data source. and we'll adjust the color of the graph. Let's resize this widget to take half of the dashboard height.
Let's also add similar widget for humidity. Once we have added this to widgets and fixed the layout, we are able to save our dashboard. Congratulations, we have just created our first dashboard. Thank you for your attention. I hope this video will help you to get started with ThingsBoard. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and Twitter to get notifications about new videos and tutorials. Thank you.